What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's a great day. Today we are going to be installing a trifold bed cover on my Ford F-150 Lightly. Uh, this is a soft bed cover, not a hard bed cover. I did order a soft roll up as well because I wasn't sure on which one I wanted to go with. But the one that came in today was the trifold. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and install it today. Uh, this specifically one is made for like a 2015 F-150 and up with a 6 foot 6 inch bed. And I know these trucks here, these Lightnings here, uh, have a six foot seven inch bed so this might might be a little bit short but I think I can make it work but so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the box and install it and see what it looks like um, specifically why I want to get a bed cover for this truck is because that right there the nitrous bottle I don't want that exposed to the Sun or at least direct sunlight when I go and drive this truck out and uh, on the weekends or if I go to like a show I know in rare cases these actually have exploded in people's cars uh, when they sit in the cars and direct sunlight gets to them. So they get really, really pressurized and could explode. So that's the reason why I want to get a bed cover for this truck. Uh, that only re that is basically the only reason. Uh, so I went with this one from Yida Motor. Uh, came in pretty quick, a couple days. It's here. I'm going to go ahead and unbox it and install it. should be pretty simple, guys. I'm not going to go ahead and install. Uh, it does come with weather seals for the front and back. I'm not going to install that because, like I said, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, keep this one and uh, use the soft one. The soft roll-up one actually is specifically made for a 6 foot 7 inch bed. So this truck and is a little bit more, I think, about less profile, low profile, which is what I was going for. I want a low profile bed cover on the bed. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take it out of the box, see what it comes with, and install it, see what it looks like. Um, instructions and we get uh, four seals and it even comes with a little light that's my handy and the cover so that's pretty light it's not very heavy at all it's pretty light go ahead and get this out of the box and get set up So what I'm thinking is placing the actual bed cover like literally on the edge of the back rail here. So it'll give me the extra inch that I need on the back end. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it here. Kind of get it even on the rails here. Try to get it uh, down the middle. And then I go ahead and we all unfold it. Looks pretty, pretty good there. So I'm gonna go ahead and unfold it. Pretty simple over here and we undo these clips one do this one and now we should be able to unfold it and actually these are going to be the ones that attach onto the rail Really close. So we're good right there. We come over here. We are gonna be like super close. That may be perfect actually. So let's go ahead and, and see if I can go ahead and tighten down the uh, the levers on the inside to get it stretched out. All right. Once you're crawling to bed, you're gonna run into these little levers here, and this is what's in it used to clamp to the side of the bed. So we'll just slide this down like this, and then you can just tighten this up as you want underneath here but if it's too far away you just raise this up slide it over slide it down attach this to the bed and we'll go ahead and snug it down there and we'll do the same for the other side all right once we get both sides uh, nice and even on both sides we can go ahead and we'll do the second section we'll fold it over This, this one here, 
can add this more or less tension. So right there. That's pretty good right there. All right, once we get done with doing our middle ones, we go ahead and do our last fold. There's one, and then there's two. All right, so I finally made the last attachment on the inside of the bed here, uh, the last one, and on this side as well. And it actually looks and fits pretty good. I had a little bit of an issue as far as trying to get this side to match the side because I just realized that this bed on my truck, it actually doves out. So as you can tell, the bed cover starts in the middle of the bed rail up front and then somehow it goes into the inside of the bed here. So like on this side, see, it is starts basically on the outer edge of the bed. You can't even see the hole here. And then it goes to the inside. Same thing on this side. So I'm not sure if it's all on these OBS 4 trucks. They all do the same because my tailgate actually fits perfect here and here. There's not really much of a gap difference. So I'm not sure if these trucks don't really do that or not, or it's just my bed. But either way, the bed cover still fits on the nice. Still covers up the tailgate here, and there's no gap there. And on the front, there is a little bit of a gap in the center here, uh, only because on these OBS trucks, if you have one, you know that they break here at the seam. Uh, the welds break, and they this back end comes loose. Uh, this one has obviously been repaired before. Not very nice. But, uh, yeah, if you own one of these OBS trucks, you definitely know that these break here, and that's why that's not really even there. But I can always push that in. Anyways, it looks good. Uh, still serves a purpose, still covers the bed like I wanted it to. Looks good, and actually it's pretty good low profile bed cover there. Um, so I can still fold it over and open the nitrous bottle when I need to get to it. And yeah, it looks good actually. So can't wait with the roll up one kits here. And hopefully I don't have issues with that one as well, because that one actually bolts up to the rail of the bed, and hopefully it'll still Velcro to it. So yeah guys, there you go. Uh, so if you are in the market for a bed cover and can't decide what you want to get, do remember that a 2015 F-150 in current with a 6 foot 6 inch bed cover will fit on these OBS 4s with a 6 foot 7 inch bed. So like I said, I'll link out this one below on my description if you're interested in this one right here. It was actually pretty cheap. So I'll link that up below. Stay tuned for the next one guys. I'll get the rollover, compare it to this one, and then decide which one I want to keep.